My name is Patrick Murphy. I live in Boulder. The Emperor's New Muni, Chapter 4 The Emperor's whole retinue stared and stared. One saw no more than another, but they all joined the Emperor in exclaiming, Oh, it's very pretty, and they advised him to create a Muni made of this wonderful cloth especially for the great procession he was soon to lead. Magnificent, excellent, unsurpassed, were bandied from mouth to mouth, and everyone did his best to seem well pleased. The emperor gave each of the swindlers a cross to wear in his buttonhole, and the title of Sir Weaver. Before the procession, the swindlers sat up all night to show how busy they were finishing the emperor's new muni. Now the Emperor's new muni is ready. If your Imperial Majesty will condescend to take your clothes off, said the swindlers, we will help you on with your new muni. How well your Majesty's new muni looks, <clears throat> he heard on all sides. That pattern, so perfect, those colors, so suitable, it is a magnificent muni. So off went the Emperor in procession under his splendid muni. Everyone in the streets and the windows said, Oh, how fine is the emperor's new muni! Doesn't it fit him to perfection? And see his long train. Nobody would confess that he couldn't see anything, for that would prove him either unfit for his position or a fool. No muni-like effort the emperor had created before was ever such a complete success. But he hasn't got anything on, a little child said. Next time, the final chapter, chapter 5.